about celebrations. So uh, today I'm going to talk about um, the celebrations that we have in life. There are a number of celebrations that we have, days where we celebrate something. So I thought this would be a great topic, especially since last week the topic was on struggles. And I thought when I uh, walked away from last week's lesson, I actually thought to myself, uh, today I'm that I should really do a lesson on things in life that bring us joy, things in life that make us joyful. So I thought I should do uh, the topic celebrations. So I'm going to talk about um, the celebrations through the year, um, but not necessarily holidays. I'm, I decided to talk about celebrations where you would uh, most likely see members of your family, okay? So um, I'm going to avoid religious celebrations. I'm going to avoid national holidays. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the celebrations that you would have through the year where you would most likely have a party. Um, I should say though um, that uh, as I talk about these uh, celebrations, most of them will be somewhat North American um, in the sense that these are celebrations that some do happen around the world, um, but some might be unique to Canada or unique to North America. Um, but we should get started. Um, before we do though, don't forget that uh, Todd will be posting uh, in the chat over there um, the link to be able to ask questions about this topic. Remember that I only will answer questions on the topic of celebrations. If you have more questions, um, you will need to save them for my question and answer live stream. But in this live stream, let's try to stay on the topic of celebrations. Probably the most popular celebration, and I think this is around the world, would be uh, a birthday. Um, so a birthday is a celebration that takes place uh, on the day that you were born. Um, and in Canada and in other parts of the world, we often have a birthday party. A birthday party is probably more popular with children. Uh, as you get older, you don't necessarily have a birthday party, but definitely when kids are growing up, they often have birthday parties. They might not have one every year, um, but they will most likely have a birthday party where they invite friends from school. Uh, there is usually cake at a kid's birthday party, and we usually put candles on the cake, and we put the same number of candles <clears throat> as the age of the child. So if a child is turning seven, <clears throat> excuse me, we will, uh, we will put seven candles on the cake and then we will sing happy birthday. Um, I would sing it to you, but if you sing happy birthday on YouTube, the video gets a copyright strike. So I'm, I'm not going to sing happy birthday, but um, you, usually you sing happy birthday and then the child will blow out the candles. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know why I'm always clearing my throat. I, I just feel like... I have a good voice, it should just work all the time. Anyways, <clears throat> we usually have birthday parties. When you're older, you do sometimes still have a birthday party, but it might be for the year you turn 40, or the year you turn 45, or the year you turn 50. Generally, <clears throat> excuse me, generally, there we go, now my voice works better. <laughs> Generally at my age, when uh, we have a birthday, we just go out with friends or family uh, to a restaurant, maybe for dinner. Um, usually in my family, Jen and uh, myself and the kids just go out for my birthday. So I don't have a big party where I invite tons of friends. Anyways, probably the most common celebration in English would be a birthday party. Um, let me see here, we're getting into um, something that's very unique to this part of Canada, and that's something called a stag and doe or a Jack and Jill. This is a party that happens before a wedding, usually about two or three months before people get married. There will be a party called a stag and doe or a Jack and Jill. And this is a party where, um, a whole bunch of people come and the purpose of the party is to raise money 
for the couple that is going to get married. Again, this is very common in my part of Canada. It's very common in Ontario. It's not popular necessarily around North America or the world, uh, but this is very popular. Usually three or four months before the wedding, there will be a stag and doe, and it's for guys and girls to go to. And there's lots of games, and there's lots of things to do where the purpose is to raise money for the upcoming marriage of a couple. Um, the other thing that happens before a wedding, the other kind of celebration is something called a bridal shower. Um, so a bridal shower is a party usually just for women and it's a party where uh, women get together with the bride-to-be they get together with the woman who is going to get married uh, and they shower her with gifts. So again, this is a party that happens before a wedding. So this happens before the day that people get married uh, and it's usually just at someone's house. And the purpose of a bridal shower uh, is to give gifts to the bride and they're usually all kinds of gifts. Uh, gifts for the house, gifts for uh, just things you need in life. Um, so it's, I think, probably a pretty fun party. I, of course, have never been to a bridal shower. Jen has been to many bridal showers. Um, but uh, it is just a nice way for friends and family to help out the bride before the wedding day, to give her lots of gifts, to give her lots of things she'll need as she moves out of her parents' house um, or wherever she's living uh, into a home with her new husband. So bridal showers happen uh, usually a month or so before a wedding, there is a bridal shower, but it can happen any time before a wedding. Um, and then uh, lastly, there is the big celebration of a wedding. So just to clarify the difference between um, a wedding and a marriage. So a marriage is the act of um, committing to be with someone for your whole life. So Jen and I have a marriage, okay? A wedding is the celebration the day when you get married. So a wedding uh, usually happens at a church or a mosque or under a tent in a backyard, maybe at a temple, um, maybe under a canopy. Um, weddings can happen in a hotel. Uh, my cousin was married at a hotel. Weddings can happen outside. Um, outdoor weddings are very, very popular in Canada right now. Sometimes weddings happen at the town center um, or at the justice of the peace. Um, so weddings can be religious or they can be non-religious, uh, depending if you are a religious person. So religious weddings tend to happen at a temple or a church or mosque, and they're usually officiated by someone from that place, from that religion. So um, non-religious weddings would take place uh, at maybe um, a hotel or a school gym or the town hall um, or just in your backyard. Um, but again, a wedding is a celebration when two people commit to living together for the rest of their lives. And so weddings uh, have two parts to them usually. There is a, the religious part of the wedding, but there's also the civil part of the wedding. So in Canada, when you get married, when you have and you celebrate your wedding day, you are legally married. So under the law, Canada recognizes you as a couple. So that is the wedding. Hey, let me jump over to the questions. I haven't looked at any yet. Um, there's a question in the chat though. How much money do people spend for a marriage in Canada? So my guess is, this is going to sound crazy. They spend about uh, $20,000 for a wedding. That's a lot of money. And some people spend a lot more than that. So um, let me look at some of the questions here, though. Let me pop over to the uh, Google form. Uh, Dikshansh says, hi, Bob. How do you celebrate your achievements in life? How would you celebrate when you hit 1 million subscribers? I loved it when you shared your YouTube play button with us last time. If I am so lucky as to hit 1 million subscribers, I will make another video to celebrate. Um, I also thought about the idea of having what's called a meetup in Toronto. That's where you invite 
uh, subscribers to come and meet you. So I might do that, but we're a long ways away from that. I will do my best and work hard to get there. Um, but uh, I, will, uh, I will think of something special. I'll definitely make a video. Gaga says, hello, teacher Bob. I heard that on someone's birthday, that person will be hit on the butt with their age. So that used to happen a long time ago. It doesn't happen too much anymore. Um, when I was a kid, that was a tradition that uh, um, they would actually, um, people would actually lift you and bump you on the floor. So that's a weird tradition. Uh, it doesn't happen anymore. What happens now is we count out their age. We say, are you one? Are you two? Are you three? And then, especially if it's a child, they have to yell stop when you get to their age. Let's see here. Um, Biak Kampong says, hi, Bob. Do Canadians celebrate Valentine's Day? That's what we call it as a public holiday. So I'll get to Valentine's Day in a bit, but just real quick, Valentine's Day is not a public holiday. It is a day that we do celebrate though. So it's not a day where we can stay home. We do have to go to work. <clears throat> Let me do one more question. Let's see here. Um, Nick says, hi, Bob. Good evening. Greetings from Singapore. Thank you so much for teaching us live lessons and very useful for me. You're welcome, Nick. In your life, which celebrations are unforgettable? Well, my wedding to Jen is unforgettable. Uh, Jen and I actually got married in the winter. And the day we got married was a quite a foggy day. It wasn't snowing. It was really, really warm. And it was very hard for people to get to our wedding because they couldn't see to drive. But Jen was beautiful. It was just a really nice day. Uh, we were married in a church. And then we had afterwards what is called a reception at the town hall. A reception is the party that you have after a wedding. And I should have mentioned that earlier. Um, so it was just a beautiful, beautiful day. So uh, that is my favorite celebration in life. Let's see here. I'm uh, going to skip question, um, questions that don't relate to the topic. Henry, though, from Taiwan. Hi, Henry. Says, hi, Bob. Christmas is around the corner. We're going to have turkey, ham, and bacon. How would Teacher Bob celebrate Christmas? Wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. So uh, the meat that we eat at Christmas, we usually, uh, Jen and I usually prepare a chicken. Um, but the traditional meat would be turkey and ham. When we go to visit Jen's parents, and Jen's family, we will have turkey and ham, and we will have potatoes, we will have vegetables, uh, we will have little uh, breads called buns. Um, it's a really nice, uh, it's a really nice meal, actually. Um, okay, let's keep going before I forget that there's more things. Um, I was going to do this one with the other ones. Uh, after you are married, you might celebrate your anniversary. So. An anniversary is the day that you got married. So after a year after your wedding, um, you would celebrate your one year anniversary. Generally, people celebrate anniversaries just with their spouse, just with their partner, um, when they're not major milestones. What I mean by that is um, couples that are married one or two or three years, they just usually go out together on a small date um, they'll go out for a meal and celebrate their anniversary. Um, <clears throat> when you get to the point where you're celebrating 25 years of marriage, when it's your 25th wedding anniversary, usually people have a big party for their 25th. So if you are married for 25 years, um, often people will rent a large hall and they will have a party where they invite all of their friends and family. And they usually do the same for their 40th and their 50th wedding anniversary if they are, um, you know, lucky to live that long that they're celebrating 50 or 60 years of marriage. But um, generally, a wedding anniversary is celebrated by just the couple going out for maybe a movie and a little bit of food. Um, and that is usually a fun time. Jen and I will be celebrating it will almost be 25 years of marriage in a few years. That's crazy, eh? By crazy, I mean awesome, by the way. So we went through all of the stages of a marriage. That's pretty cool in terms of a celebration. Um, one of the other, 
major celebrations in life for people is a graduation. So many of, <clears throat> many of you went to elementary school and then most likely high school and then after that maybe college or university. In Canada, each separate school has their own graduation. So in Canada, when you are 13 years old, in Ontario, Canada, um, you graduate from grade eight. You graduate from elementary school or what we also call grade school. Um, <laughs> says, hi Bob, how come you talk and you hold a paper and type in one time? Do you have three hands? I just copy and paste, that's how I do it. And I think there's a delay. Um, so when you are done high school, you go to high school in my part of Canada from age 14 to about 17 or 18. High school is four years. Then you have your grade 12 graduation or your high school graduation. Um, let's see here. I just saw, was it Januka said, does he speak French? Oui, je parle français seulement un peu. Um, yes, I do speak French. Anyways, uh, and when you go to college or university in Canada, when you are done, you also have a graduation. So there's two parts to a graduation. There's the formal graduation ceremony that happens at your school or at your university. So that's where you wear sometimes a cape and gown um, and a graduation hat. Um, but after you go to the formal ceremony, you usually have a celebration with your friends or family or friends and family. So there's kind of two parts. There's the formal ceremony, which is a, uh, you know, takes place in a large place like a gymnasium and you get your diploma. Um, and uh, after the uh, formal ceremony, you usually either just go out to eat or you have a small celebration called a graduation party. So... I love graduations. They're really fun, really cool milestones in life. Um, let's see here. Uh, another celebration, this is related to a birthday, but we would also just celebrate a birth. We would celebrate when a couple has a new baby, when a new baby is born. Um, we celebrate births usually by close friends and family. So usually the grandparents and really close friends, they may visit the hospital after the baby is born, or they might visit the new mom and dad after the baby is born the first day or two, uh, and they'll bring a few gifts either to the hospital or to the home. There is no big party when a child is born in Canada, um, but there is kind of a small celebration. Um, so usually, um, like when our kids were born, um, my brothers and sisters and Jen's brothers and sisters and my mom and Jen's parents would visit us either at the hospital or at our house within a few days of uh, a, new, a new baby arriving. So you, you've heard me say a few different uh, phrases there. Um, we say that kids are born, um, a baby is born. We also say babies arrive. So <laughs> Not like they're delivered, but we say, you know, uh, with the arrival of a new baby, um, a young couple might have a lot more work to do. Um, but we definitely cel celebrate a birth with immediate family and friends. Um, so no big party, but lots of visiting. People bring over food. Um, everyone wants to see the new baby and hold the new baby. Uh, so a birth is certainly something that we celebrate, um, but we certainly don't invite a hundred people over <laughs> to see the baby. Um, before a baby is born though, and sometimes after, sorry, after a baby is born, let me get this right. I thought I was talking about bridal shower, but anyways, we also have what are called baby showers. A baby shower is a celebration that happens after a baby is born. You can see this cake says, it's a boy. By the way, in Canada, we almost always eat cake at a celebration, okay? Um, but a baby shower is a, a time when many people come to a party to celebrate the birth of the baby and to shower the new mom with gifts and to shower the baby with gifts. So a shower is when water comes on you. Um, but when you have a shower that is a party, 
um, it is a showering of gifts. So that happens after birth. Um, BR's L. Tula Zados says, I love teacher Bob and has left a super chat. Thank you so much, BR. That is awesome of you. Um, English Danny Learn English Channel has left a super chat and says, have a coffee, Bob. Thank you so much, uh, English Danny, uh, for that super chat. I hope I haven't missed any super chats. I, I haven't been looking down very much, so I should make sure I look down more. Um, Todd will let me know, though, if I miss any. So anyways, thank you very much uh, to BR Z. Sorry, I can't pronounce. Let me, let me do a better job. Thank you, BRs. Achulizados. Achulizados. I love Teacher Bob. Thank you, BR. And thank you, English Danny. Learn English Channel. Have a coffee, Bob. Thank you very much. Let me jump over to the questions. Let's see here. Um, there's a, a really quick one here off topic, but Valentin says, Hi, Bob. I just wanted to say thank you. You've helped me a lot. You're the best. Thank you very much. Let's see here. Um, next question is from Yarex. Hi, Bob. Hi, Yerix. How ha, This is Yerix from Russia. How was your week? I had a really nice week, actually. My question is, how was your week, Yerix? Let me know in the, in the comments below. Um, my question is, how do people celebrate the New Year in Canada? So we usually, on New Year's Eve, and I'll talk about New Year's in a little bit, uh, we get together either and have a small party or we go to a big party. Uh, and I'll talk more about it, but almost everyone in Canada celebrates New Year's Eve, that's for sure. Let me clean up my questions here, everybody. Um, sorry I'm behind on the questions. Let's see here. Um, Dimitri says, Hi, Bob. What are your top five holidays in Canada? Um, real quick, I like... Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, um, Boxing Day, which is a day we just go shopping, Canada Day, and Labor Day. There we go. Uh, I'll talk about those more <laughs> at another time. Let's see. Um, let's see here. Oh, Eugene from Etobicoke. Yeah, that's a good one, Eugene. Eugene says, we're all celebrating that B Learn English with Bob the Canadian's channel on YouTube will have its three-year birthday on January 3rd, 2020. So I will make a video to celebrate that for sure. In a couple of weeks, uh, in about uh, three and a half weeks, it will be three years that I have been doing videos on YouTube. Uh, so I'll make a special video for that uh, for sure. Uh, next question, uh, Amir says, um, how can we congrats someone with his, her baby being born? So we usually just say congratulations, right? We just say, can we see the baby? Congratulations. Oh, he's so cute or she's so cute. Um, and that's about it. You just say, you usually just say congratulations um, uh, to people. Give them a big hug and uh, generally ask to, uh, to see the baby. Everyone always wants to see the baby. Um, it's a big thing. So let me see. Um, Saeed says... Is there a phrase when you want to say off the candles to someone having a birthday party? Oh, when, when they blow out the candles? Uh, no, they just, we sing the song and then they blow out the candles. I'm not sure I remember to say that part, but you blow the candles out on the cake. Uh, I lost my cake uh, paper. Um, and then there's a funny th joke always that however many candles are still lit after the person tries to blow them out, that's how many boyfriends or girlfriends they have. That's what kids always say. So if there's two, one candle still going after they try to blow out the cake, they say, oh, you have one girlfriend or one boyfriend. Um, let's see. So RJ the Aussie says, tell those people what a bachelor party is. Right or wrong, this is part of Western culture, hugs mate. Actually, interesting RJ. In Canada, there are not very many bachelor parties anymore. It is actually pretty rare. So a bachelor party is a celebration where just the guys and the person who is getting married go out for the evening uh, and they have quite a uh, party filled evening. But in my part of Canada, it is more common to have a stag and doe. It's more common to have a party where both the bride and groom are there. We rent a huge hall and both men and women, guys and girls, come to celebrate. Um, a pure stag or a bachelor party is actually quite rare in my area of Canada. Um, our local hall in my town is almost always rented out for stag and does, which is, I think is just a better party because the couple ends up with 
a few thousand dollars uh, in money instead of uh, just a bunch of craziness. But bachelor parties do still happen. Um, I myself did not have a bachelor party. Uh, Jen and I had a uh, kind of a, a family and friends small party in our backyard. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see here. Next question is from Javier. Javier Uzkanga says, hi, Bob. Hi, Javier. Um, Javier, <laughs> best regards. I'm from Venezuela, living now in the Basque country. My question is about how is the celebration for the New Year there in Canada? Thank you. So New Year's, I'll get to in a bit. But generally, small parties, medium parties, big parties, outdoor parties, and they are all on New Year's Eve until midnight when we celebrate uh, the New Year coming in. Um, let me see here. I'm going to continue with the lesson. I'm running a little bit behind. We have something as well called a going away party. And a going away party is a general term for a party when someone in the family or a friend is leaving. So maybe you have a friend who got a job in a faraway city. Uh, maybe you have um, a friend or um, a relative who is going away to university in another country or far away. Um, or you just have someone who is moving to another city. We would have what's called a going away party. Um, the cake says, good luck, James. And again, uh, in Canada, we almost always have cake at parties. I usually eat too much cake. Um, but a going away party is just a, um, it sounds kind of funny. You're not celebrating that the person is leaving, um, but you're having a party just to show that you like that person and you are wishing them well, or you're saying good luck. So maybe you have someone uh, you know who has taken a job or got a job in another country. Uh, you would most likely have a going away party for them just to wish them well as they start something new. In Canada and in America, in the United States, and I think other parts of the world, uh, we have what's called family reunions. A family reunion um, I've talked about before in other lessons, but this is usually in the summer in Canada or at uh, at or around Christmas. So people have a family reunion where, um, for me, there are members of my family that I would only see at a family reunion. So all of your uncles and aunts and cousins and grandparents, everyone you're related to um, comes to a family reunion. Generally, if you have a big family, you have it outside in the summer. Um, and some people will rent a large gymnasium or a big hall in order to have a family reunion in the winter. So family reunions happen uh, usually once a year, um, sometimes less often, but a family reunion is definitely a fun celebration. At a family reunion, um, hey, Karen Sighania, can you not spam the chat, please? Todd, can you gently remind Karen that spamming the same? Thank you very much, Todd, you're awesome. Um, uh, family reunions are great for catching up. When you catch up with someone, it means you talk about everything that they have done uh, since the last time that you saw them. Um, Renata says, people who have family reunions usually with people they went to high school or college with, they meet after a long time. It depends. Usually a family reunion is just family. So family reunion is where you see your uncles, your aunts, uh, your cousins who live far away and those kinds of of people. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about um, what are also considered celebrations, but they're also kind of holidays a little bit. You don't really get the day off work, but every spring we have a day called Mother's Day. And on Mother's Day, people usually visit their mother um, or they invite their mother over to their house. Uh, or they get together. Um, for instance, my family, my brothers and sisters and I, on Mother's Day, we visit my mom. We usually give her some gifts uh, and we share a meal together. So Mother's Day is a day where people get together uh, to celebrate their mothers. Um, mother's Day is kind of a cool day. Um, we also celebrate Mother's Day in our own home uh, because Jen obviously uh, is a mom to five kids. So uh, when we get up on Mother's Day, uh, we give Jen a gift and we treat 
Jen like royalty all day on Mother's Day. We are extra nice to her. We are nice to Jen all the time, but on Mother's Day, the kids and I are extra nice to Jen because she is an awesome mom to my kids. Um, let, <laughs> Mar 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 Marcelovsky Romanenko says, you Canadian guys really like cake. Yeah, there's too much cake in Canada. Every party, there's cake. Um, Sometimes there's even cake on Mother's Day. <laughs> hey, we have another day called Father's Day. It is a little bit later than Mother's Day. It's usually in June. Um, Mother's Day is earlier in the spring. Father's Day is, early, is at the beginning of the summer. And this is a day where we um, are very nice to everyone who is a dad. So my kids on Father's Day are very nice to me. Um, uh, Father's Day is a day where, um, for someone like me, it's a little bit of a sad day because m actually my father passed away um, years ago, over 20 years ago now, my father passed away. Um, so it is a sad day for me in one way because I'm sad because I miss my father, but it is a happy day because my kids um, treat me really, really nicely on Father's Day and they give me some gifts and uh, it's just a nice time to hang out and spend time with family. Um, let's jump back and look at some questions for a sec. Um, there are a lot of questions. Oh, it's a good topic, apparently. Um, let's see here, Hamoud. Hi, Bob. Have you ever met people who lied about the date of their birthday? Thanks from Saudi Arabia. Well, I don't on YouTube lie about my birthday, but I don't tell people when my birthday is. So my birthday is in the summer. That's all I'll say. Um, but yes, I have met people as they get older. Sometimes people don't talk about when their birthday is. They lie a little bit about when their birthday is. Um, because they don't want people <laughs> to know how old they are. Katerina says, what is the difference between presents and gifts? So on your birthday, you can get presents or you can get gifts. They are the same thing, Katerina. So you would give someone a present for their birthday or you would give someone a gift for their birthday. The same at other celebrations. When someone has, um, when a new baby is born, you might give uh, the, mom, the new mom and dad a present or give them a gift, it is the same, exactly the same thing. Um, let me clean up my questions here, everybody. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Almaz says, Hi, Bob and Todd. Have you heard about the Burning Man Festival? Could you tell about it in the future lesson? Thank you. Sure, I, I plan to do another lesson, not on celebrations, but on uh, things like festivals and things that people do to entertain themselves. I've done lessons in the past on entertainment, but I'll do a specific one on festivals and fairs in the future. Let's see here. Um, next one, next question is from Joe. Hello from China. Hello, Joe in China. You are a great teacher. Thank you very much. So helpful. Thanks a lot. Today we have a celebration for the winter coming. Family member reunion, we chat and have a big meal. Well, that's awesome. Uh, it is always nice to get together with family. I will be honest, my family doesn't get together enough. Um, this past week, I was able to see some uncles and aunts and cousins uh, for a different reason, and that was nice. I hope sometime soon we have a good family reunion. Um, let's see here. Eric from Melbourne. That's the next question. Good day, Bob. Have you ever come across a birthday surprise arrangement by friends and family? So sometimes, um, if yes, how was the experience? Sometimes people have a surprise party for someone. I have never experienced a surprise party, but a surprise party is when, um, if it's your birthday or another event, usually a birthday, and you come home, and you open the door to your house and it's dark and all of a sudden someone turns the lights on and all your friends and family are there and they yell surprise and then everyone says happy birthday. So I have not, Eric, had a surprise party but um, I think it would scare me a little bit um, <laughs> for sure. Um, Maddie from Saudi Arabia says, hi, Bob the Canadian. Hi, Maddie. I hope you're doing very well. I am. I got married two years ago in Saudi Arabia. $20,000 was the cost of the wedding. So weddings do uh, definitely cost a little bit of money. That's for sure. Uh, let's see here. Um, Katerina 
<laughs> says, uh, in our country, there is a Teacher's Day, October 5th, uh, and in Canada. So there was a Teacher's Day. I think one or two people at my school said Happy Teacher's Day. But on YouTube, hundreds of people said Happy uh, Teacher Day. So that was very, very nice. Uh, thank you to all the people that, that wished me Happy Teacher Day. We don't celebrate Teacher's Day in Canada. So let's see. Um, let me check this one out. Oh, okay, this one's a little bit dicey. Maria says, hi, Bob, thanks for your classes. My question is, I know there is a party before the wedding that women and men celebrate uh, uh, separately where they sometimes go to strip clubs. So we talked earlier about a bachelor party and I talked about how those don't happen as much anymore in Canada. But one of the things that used to be popular uh, is before a wedding, all of the men would have a bachelor party where they would go out and, in my opinion, drink far too much alcohol. Uh, and they would do things like go to a strip club. And I'm not going to talk about what strip clubs are. You can look that up yourself. I myself uh, did not participate in that type of behavior, um, but it was something that was popular years ago. It's still a little bit popular, but um, you will need to look up the meaning of that word yourself. Uh, I don't want to describe something that isn't family friendly uh, on my channel, but yes, there used to be and there still are something called bachelor parties. Um, where in my opinion, people did crazy things that, uh, um, maybe they shouldn't have for sure. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's continue though with the lesson. Let's get back to that. We have a few minutes left here. Um, people have asked a lot about New Year's Eve. So we don't celebrate New Year's Day in Canada. January 1st is a holiday, but usually on January 1st, people just sleep in. Okay. So on January 1st, people are tired. They've been up late the night before because our big celebration is New Year's Eve. On New Year's Eve, people go to big outdoor concerts. Sometimes they just have a small party with friends or with family. Um, sometimes they go to a bar or they go to uh, a downtown celebration. Um, sometimes they'll go to a small party with friends and family. I think I said that already. Um, but generally on New Year's Eve, people are um, either at home waiting for midnight so that they can celebrate um, or they are out and about uh, doing something fun so that when evening comes, uh, when midnight comes, they can celebrate uh, the New Year. Um, but yes, usually once it's midnight and everyone has celebrated and said Happy New Year to everyone. That's what we say on the New Year, on New Year's Eve. Uh, then usually they head home about an hour or two later. Uh, and on New Year's Day, on January 1st, we usually sleep in uh, quite late, actually. So New Year's Eve is a very fun celebration. Hey, in North America, there is another celebration that happens in a high school, and that's called prom. Uh, prom is a party or celebration that happens at a high school. Um, it happens for kids who are age 14 to 18. Um, and it is basically um, a big dance and dinner, sometimes just snack foods. But prom you will see in a lot of American television shows and movies. A lot of people go to prom. Uh, so basically they get dressed up, girls buy a prom dress. Guys usually wear a suit or rent a tuxedo um, and they go to a prom and they dance and they just enjoy each other's company uh, and they go home at the end of the evening. So prom is a high school event. Um, we uh, don't have prom necessarily at every high school in Canada. Some schools have just a banquet and a dance and they don't call it prom. Some schools have a, a, what they actually call a prom. So. Um, that is a high school event. And then I put this one in just, just to be funny. <laughs> this is not necessarily a celebration. I'm sure all the people from Brazil right now in the live lesson are cheering. Um, but some people celebrate the World Cup. And I know there are all kinds of other sport celebrations like the Super Bowl and different teams have playoffs. Hockey has the Stanley Cup. But 
I thought I would throw this one in just for fun uh, to make everyone smile. Some people celebrate the World Cup. They have uh, World Cup soccer parties or football parties. Um, but And if their team wins, then they go crazy. Um, but definitely, sometimes people celebrate the World Cup. You know, in Canada, we watch World Cup soccer, um, but usually our team isn't there. I don't think Canada has had a team at World Cup ever, or maybe once or twice. I would have to look it up. Don't ask me who my favorite football team is in the world. I don't want to offend anyone in the chat. Um, when World Cup soccer is on though, I do watch some of the games. It is a lot of fun to see um, high level football or high level soccer. So um, we mentioned this one earlier. Uh, Valentine's Day um, is a day where couples, married couples, um, couples who are dating, um, couples who are um, Maybe they, they are just a couple who live together, but they will go out for Valentine's Day. Usually on Valentine's Day, um, they'll go out for a meal. Uh, they'll go out for a date. Maybe they'll dress up, you know, wear nicer clothes. Um, and maybe they'll go out and see a movie or they'll go for a walk um, or they'll just um, go to a nice cafe uh, and have some coffee and just talk about um, their relationship or other things in life. Uh, and then, Here's my last celebration. Um, just so you know, I think every country in the world celebrates their country. In Canada, we celebrate Canada Day on July 1st. So July 1st of every year, we celebrate Canada Day. Um, uh, on Canada Day, we usually go and see a concert and see some fireworks. Uh, Canada Day is a great day. I'm having trouble saying Canada. Canada Day is a great day to go and see fireworks. It's an awesome time uh, where you can go and do that. Um, and uh, I think sometimes people get it confused with uh, in the United States, they celebrate on July 4th. So they have the 4th of July. But in Canada, we celebrate on July 1st. <laughs> I knew in the chat, people would start uh, yelling out and cheering. Brazil is the, <laughs> is the best football team. Yeah, people love football in the world. So uh, I promise when World Cup is on again, I will watch and I will cheer for all your teams, um, if that makes any sense. Anyways, Canada Day, July 1st uh, is a really, really nice day. Let me jump back to the questions, everybody. Um, let's see here. Um, Let's see, this is from Edmund. Hi, Bob, I'm from Hong Kong. <clears throat> During a party, we may meet someone we don't know. If I want to draw attention, or to draw someone's attention, which one is correct? Hey man, hey dude, hey bro. So I wouldn't use any of those. I would just say, hello. Um, or I would say something like, um, hello, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Bob. Um, so I wouldn't use any of the ones that you mentioned until you know the person better. So I might say to someone, uh, hey man, uh, hey dude is not used very much anymore. It's a very old term. Um, sometimes people say it just to be funny, like, hey dude, uh, how's it going? Um, but I would not use those unless you knew the person. If you don't know the person, uh, I would just say hello. Um, but if you knew the person, I would say, uh, hey man, I'm over here. That would totally work, for sure. Uh, let's see, next question. Um, Svetlana says, hi Bob, in Russia we have many celebrations in winter. For instance, we have Old New Year on January 13th. It's New Year's from the former calendar. Is there any strange celebrations in Canada? So we do have some outdoor celebrations in Canada. Um, I can't think of all the names because uh, they're usually quite local. Um, but I know when I lived in Quebec City, um, in Quebec, uh, in February, they have a big parade and there is a huge outdoor celebration. Um, it's, it's called, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's at the same time as Carnival around the world. Um, so there are celebrations like that. Close to where I live, there are a lot of wineries. And so in the middle of the winter, they have what's uh, called uh, uh, like a wine tasting, but it's outside at night and they light fires in big barrels and it's a really uh, unique experience. Um, but definitely, I think most of us that live in countries that have uh, cold winters, there are a lot of outdoor celebrations um, for sure. Um, next question is from Amit. 
Hi, Bob. How do Canadians celebrate Thanksgiving Day mostly? Mostly we get together with family and we have a large meal. We're very similar to Americans in that way. Our Thanksgiving is a different day. It's in October. American Thanksgiving is in November. But in October in Canada, you usually visit friends or family, usually family, and have a large meal. Usually we have turkey at that meal. Uh, let's see here. Um, next question is from Adriana. Hi from Macedonia. Hello. Um, I really like your videos. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Um, it makes me smile when people say that. Uh, here's my question. What do you bring for a present for the couple on their wedding day? So generally in Canada, couples will actually list all of the things that they need. So you can actually go to what's called a wedding registry. There will be a website for that couple and it will list all of the stuff they need and what store you can buy it at. I know that doesn't sound very fun, but it's very practical. It's very practical to uh, give couples the things they need. So it's usually a lot of things for around their house or apartment. So anyways, um, hey folks, I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, before I go though, if you're new here, if you're one of the 558 people watching and you are not a subscriber, you should click that red button and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for coming to this lesson. Please don't forget that if you come back tomorrow, there will be subtitles, English subtitles for you, that if there were parts of the lesson where you didn't quite understand what I was saying, come back tomorrow and rewatch it with the subtitles on. I highly recommend uh, that you do that. Um, I'm Bob the Canadian, by the way, and you are learning English with me. Um, I'm going to wrap this lesson up though. We're done. Thank you for learning a little bit about some North American celebrations. Uh, I'm gonna click the stop button here if I can find it but I don't actually, oh, that's interesting. So now we have uh, on my screen here, there's no stop button. <laughs> this live stream might go on forever. Uh, let me see if I can figure this out. <laughs> I've never had this before, my software updated. So um, let me see here. Um, if I push there, I push.